Now let us see the anomalous behavior of boron and certain important trends of the chemical properties of the group 13 elements. What we find the strange thing about these elements is that their trihalides, mainly the, their trichlorides, tribromides and triiodides are covalent in nature because of their high polarizing power. And as a result, they get easily hydrolyzed and they form the units like this one as well as the units in which the coordination number is 6. So they form the tetrahydroxide units and hexahydroxide units. The, it is the boron which is being the smallest one and due to the lack of the d orbitals prefers to form the tetrahydroxide ions whereas all the rest of the elements they get hydrolyzed to form the hexahydroxide species. Now there is another important thing which we need to know is that all these halides of uh, the uh, group 13 elements which are, I can write it like MX3 so when they are monomeric so I am writing down here all monomeric trihalides of group 13 elements they all are actually are Lewis acids they are electron deficient species particularly let's talk about BF3 since it is having only 6 electron it very easily combines with electron rich species like ammonia which donate a pair of electron and forms a data bond with it and this is how it is actually is able to what satisfy the electron deficiency of boron in the BF3. So this sort of uh, what we can say is it is sort of an acid base reaction in terms of a Lewis definition in which BF3 is accepting the pair of electron is observed. What we another thing we find is that uh, the halides of the uh, other elements like we can take the example of AlCl3 they are able to exist in the solid state in the form of what dimers with uh, with halides as the bridge elements between the two molecular species. So this is how they stay in their solid state in nature.